Hey, what's up? This is Benji coming at you with another random web development uh, screencast here. I was working on something recently. I'm doing a basic um, CMS and Rails that has an admin panel that um, uh, the administrator will be able to make use of. They can um, select any resource and add, edit, delete, create. All that good stuff um, and I thought um, hey it'd be useful if they could see what resources they're currently on you can see I haven't really completed this uh, on the right here we have mostly scaffolded uh, views but I have completed this sidebar so I thought uh, let's add an active state um, to whatever link uh, we're currently on for the view uh, it's just good UX and it, it allows the user to uh, visually identify what um, they're editing, uh, especially in something like this where the sidebar is so prevalent. So, um, if you're not familiar with Rails, I have a bunch of uh, Link2 helpers here, and yes, I'm using Hamels, so and that might look a little weird to you as well. Um, what you might need to be concerned with here is how it renders out. It's a bunch of href um, links here that lead to different resources and I have classes here that are unique that use IDs but namespaces classes so they should be pretty specific and not used more than once so um, each class is named for the resource that represents um, namespace by admin dash nav so let's create a active class for that and we'll do we'll namespace that as well admin dash nav dash active and um, let's just give it a background color something obvious represent um, what it is and we'll paste that into the first one of these which is the default view and there we can see so um, yeah, we want to do something like that to indicate um, what view we're currently on. Maybe not this color, because this color is <laughs> it's not really great from a design perspective. Uh, I might do something like the same color as the background on the right here. But, um, I don't know, maybe that's a bit too subtle for this demonstration. We'll just keep it slightly colored. Uh, maybe I'll do kind of this blue color here. Just something subtle but still colored so we can see um, what's selected. Paste that in. Yeah, so how do we get this um, to the point where we could click on a link and it would um, show that it is active? Well, if you're familiar with JavaScript and the DOM, you know we have a window object by default. It's a very useful um, function in this default window object, which is called location. So let's see what happens if we call that up. If I can spell it correctly. There we go. Immediately I can see this path name it might be useful. It tells me that I'm on the galleries. Uh, resource in my URL um, so um, maybe I can abstract that into something I can use to tell me let's just make a variable here it tells me what resource I'm currently using and I'm just really concerned with the galleries part I don't care about the, the forward slashes and admin but since there are these forward slashes here I can probably split by that and get an array um, and I want just this last item in the array which uh, the index for that is 2 since we start with index 0 and galleries yeah so that will kind of tell me um, that will return something that tells me what um, resource I'm on I'm just going to do some inline JavaScript uh, textile. What's that? I uh, know this is a symbol in Hamel talk. 
Uh, I'm gonna make a, a variable um, which just grabs that last um, the third item of the array after we split it by four slashes. And um, this is the resource I'm mainly concerned with. The admin nav active class um, is what I want to select with my jQuery. So I'm going to add that. And I guess what I'm trying to do is if it's already active somewhere, before I do anything, I kind of need to reset that. So I'm just going to remove it. So select whatever is currently active and remove it from being active, if that makes sense. And then if I add, uh, add that active class here, and you can see it's removing itself immediately. And uh, actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to need that, but let's leave it in for now and we'll figure it out later so um, what we really want to do is add the active class um, if we're on the correct resource and because I've named spaces all admin nav I'm gonna put that in there say select admin nav uh, plus whatever resource it is we have pages we have users tags uh, galleries etc so just plus URL because that's gonna return the string of whatever resource I'm on and then I'm gonna add a class to that which is the active state the active um, the admin nav active that I have listed here and let's try that out Galleries is active already. Users, blog, that's awesome. I don't think I need that that line there. So yeah, because I don't have any active state by default, so I don't need that. But um, dashboard does not work by default. And uh, why is that? Well, um, probably because my array that's returned from the split doesn't have a third item like these other ones do because dashboard just returns forward slash admin sorry i'm just gonna make this color a little more obvious here so we're gonna see what we're doing okay so why doesn't this admin um basic the the basic root of the dashboard work um, well because there's um, not a third item um, in the array uh, with the split because there's only one forward slash instead of two and we see that's undefined as you would expect uh, well it's undefined faults I don't know of a script is funny that way. Nope, undefined is special, it's not false. Is undefined true? Well, it's not true either. That's good. <laughs> we can maybe, maybe we can use that. Um, so I think we're gonna do um, it's kind of called short circuiting on JavaScript. I might be misusing that term, but basically, we're gonna add an or here. And say, hey, um, assign to this variable URL uh, this, uh, which in the case of dashboard happens to be undefined, or, and this is the or uh, symbol here, or we will just return the string of dashboard in the case of it being undefined or false. So. Let's just put that in in our console and see what we get. And URL equals dashboard. So that will work for this um, this uh, specific link that doesn't have a resource. We can see they're all working now. Dashboard included. Awesome. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
Now, if you were um, doing this um, properly, you might want to add it in a actual uh, JavaScript file somewhere and just link to it here. I'm pretty confident this will work because it's um, below all the um, elements that it's interacting with. All of these um, above are going to get loaded into the DOM. <laughs> Before this, and surely the the location will be loaded into into the object before this is called. But um, if you wanted to play it safe and do a um, document .ready, um, you could do that. But um, if you're using Turbo Links and Rails, you might want to look into um, doing document .on page change, uh, which would look something like this. Uh, that's just because um, basically turbo links will not always um, refresh the entire document uh, but it does have these kind of helpers that uh, know when the pages uh, the page has been changed and so yeah this uh, active state is working on everything I'm pretty happy I think this feature is done all right thanks for staying with me this long and let me know if you have any questions or if you think you have a better way to do it. Uh, for sure, chime in and we'll talk about it. Cool. Thanks.